Hey there, Th thought I'd come back with uh, another simple uh, how to um, add lyric tracks to your existing sequences. So sometimes you'll find on Facebook or wherever you can uh, get the lyric tracks for a song that you already have, or there is also in the tools right here, download sequences and lyrics. Sometimes you'll find the lyric tracks already there, but th that's another discussion. Creating lyric tracks, there's a whole long process for that. Um, but this is simply how to add it to your show if somebody has already uploaded it for you. It's really quite simple. We need to um, right click. First of all, you have to be on a master view or somewhere that has a lyric tracks uh, uh, defined. Then you would say import timing track. You would find the X timing track. That's what normally you would download from a website or from uh, your Facebook group or whatever that has the lyric track for your song. You'd open it and it will add it to your show like that lyric track. Now I'm just going to switch over to my uh, singing view just to make life easier and edit display elements right, just to clean it up. And I will add the lyrics over here. There we go. So I have the lyrics. I have my four singing bulbs. I happen to have a Nellis and a Nelly. Um, you'll have a lyric track. I'm going to zoom in here. You'll have the lyrics, usually just one long list of lyrics. Um, and then from there, it's broken up into words. The yellow, por yellowy orange portion is the words. And there is the pink portion is the actual mouth shapes that are happening. So that's it. You've got the lyric track in here. So now let's make singing elements sing. So you would grab the face effect, drop it into uh, whichever bulb you want. In my case, I've got it on the green one. I'm going to unselect the lyric track for now, click on the face, control, shift, left arrow, right arrow, that swings it all the way to both extremes. As you can see, it's on both extremes. And for me, I think I'll just pull it in just a little bit here. Pull it in just a little bit. I'm gonna click on the center of him. Now, a couple of things you normally do. Um, again, it depends on your prop, but normally you'd have show outline. You, under timing track, You'll click on that and you'll choose main lyrics in this case, main lyrics right here. Make sure it says the parrot here is in full, like a full parrot icon there. That means it's a valid um, lyric track. Uh, I've got uh, some face definitions. I've got one hard coded to green so that I, I know it'll show up as a green light bulb for my green bulb. And there you go. You've got the lyric track he's singing. Um, what I would normally do is play it through and just in a nice expanded version here and just make sure all the words are properly you know, as best you can. Make sure there's no missing words. You might find that some words might not be uh, expanded out. So just give it an eyeball, visual check. Some people don't bother to do that. And they just upload, you know, I wouldn't say it's garbage, but incomplete lyric tracks. So just take a, a, a gander through it and make sure that they're all complete. Now, if you happen to have one of these uh, other... Uh, other props like a, a gnome, for example, I got the gnome here. There's three pieces to that. That's a EFL Designs gnome. So I'm going to click on the face, lyrics, Nelly gnome. You do not have the outline for that because it's just the face. And you grab a state effect, put that down here. Control shift, left arrow, right arrow. And click on the center. That's going to be the body. And then I'm going to add another state effect now you can get really fancy here and make them blink like crazy or whatever but here's another one and that is the uh, eyes and i'm going to click on that and pull the eyes in so the eyes just come on basically when they start singing and i'm going to go to the far right oops i guess i didn't expand that one let me go let me zoom out here where did I go? Oh, there we go. I forgot to expand it. So let me go control shift right arrow. Click on this one, control shift right arrow. Go to the end. This looks good. Gonna bring in the eyes just a little bit close enough. Um, back to this bulb green, there is a couple of cool options added in the past year or two. You can say suppress when not singing, but also you can say faded out. And since it's 40 frames per second, I'm going to go with 60. So that means if there is a second and a half of non-singing, it'll fade out and come back on. If you don't have this set, 
you'll find that the bulb will flash a lot if it's going in between lyrics. So you can just tweak those couple settings. Um, that is it. You might go, you might do a fade in here, 0.3 out, 0.3. So the face will zoom out and same with the body just to make it nice. So nice closing 0.5. And I'll uh, do a 0.5 on the intro. That's it. You got it. You got. Uh, you bring in the lyrics. You pop in a face icon. Make sure that you have the color set for yourself. And maybe put in a lead in, lead out. Um, there uh, is other options for if you have a matrix. You might have to load in a face effect. But the concept is basically the same. Pull in the face effect. Make sure you have the face definition. Make sure you have an outline if you want it and make sure that it's pointing to the lyric track. Sometimes if you just loaded it, you may have to click off the effect, and back on the effect so that the lyric track will show up. There you go. If you want to share the lyric tracks, I might as well show you that. You can do right click export timing track and that will put it in a, vi a file that you can share on the internet with other folks. So that if you have a lyric track that you want to share, feel free to upload it to the groups and such so that other people have it. Hope that helps you get some more singing tracks on your sequences this, uh, this season. Again, see you in the Zoom room. Be sure to like and subscribe. Have a great day.